What is going on YouTube? It is always FPS and we're back with another video today. I know it's been a hot second since I've uploaded anything. I apologize. Life has been crazy here in my house. I got kids crawling now. I got kids peeing on the floor now. It's just absolutely going nuts in my house. Um, today's video is going to be all about how to fill out your turn when it comes to diplomacy in Hyborian War. Alright? Before we get started, I just got to remind everyone, every day above ground is a good one. Alright? Let's hop into it. Alright everybody, welcome back, like I said, uh, so today's video is going to be all about diplomacy and how to actually fill that out in your turn, alright, we're just taking a look at the map here real quick, but let's get into it, so the first thing we want to do uh, is we of course want to go over to grimfinger.net, scroll down to rulebook section, click on Grimfinger's searchable rulebook for Hyborian War. All right, once we do that, that's going to pull up this page, and we're going to scroll all the way down. I literally just did this, and I accidentally uh, closed out of it, so I have to do it again. Um, today, we're talking about diplomacy. Uh, diplomacy in the Hyborian War is very important, maybe even more important than conquering provinces and battles and fighting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, without diplomats, you are very... Uh, open to getting attacked from people you don't want to get attacked by and, and you know things like that so um, there are not a ton of things to go over for diplomacy uh, there's really only four all right uh, the first thing uh, that's most important I would say most important in, in diplomacy is negotiating a peace treaty all right, so negotiating a peace treaty is, uh, I'm just going to read it right off of uh, Grimm's, Grimm's here. Uh, you command one of your characters to act as an emissary between your kingdom and another kingdom to negotiate a peace treaty. So what's cool about peace, peace treaties is you necessarily might not want them, or the other kingdom you're trying to get a peace treaty on might not want it, but it has nothing to do with what you want. Um, it's, it's your character goes out to get a peace treaty on the other kingdom. Um, a peace treaty if uh, literally means that you can't get attacked by that kingdom. So if the neighboring kingdom uh, is planning to invade me, right, I can negotiate peace on that kingdom. And if I'm successful, they can't attack me unless two things. I attack them first, which breaks the peace treaty. Or if... The end of the war set or war season is going to be a peace years. After every peace years, uh, peace treaties uh, get reset. Um, so the way we filled that out is pretty simple. So if we have our sheet here and we're commanding our first guy, we put an N in the first parenthesis, P for no peace, negotiate peace, and then the last parenthesis we put the kingdom abbreviation. All right. Uh, that's the first one. Uh, next, we're going to go into break alliance between two kingdoms. This one's pretty simple. If we pull up our map here again, uh, let me zoom in. Let's say I am the kingdom of Quran, right? And Corinthia and Koth have, a peace, or have an alliance with each other. An alliance, you can move through each other's provinces. If I know that these two are allied and I spy Corinthian and find out that he's going to attack me over here, I would want to break the alliance between Koth and Corinthia because then he won't be able to move through Koth to come attack me, right? So uh, that that's all you would ever use break an alliance for um, is to prevent someone from moving through another kingdom to come attack you. This one's pretty simple as well to fill out. First parenthesis, we put a B for break. Second parenthesis, we put an A for alliance. Third parenthesis, we put the kingdom abbreviation. Fourth parenthesis, we put the other kingdom abbreviation. Pretty, pretty easy for that one. Uh, the next command is going to be disrupt war pack. Now, what the, the game identifies a war pack as any number of kingdoms invading the same kingdom. So. We'll use this example. Corinthia here is surrounded by enemies, right? So let's say Brythunia and Koth were both invading Corinthia. 
they don't even have to be allied. Let's just say they they plan on attacking at on the same turn. That in game terms is considered a war pact. What Corinthia could do is disrupt war pact if we pull it up here, disrupt war pact and this has the potential to prevent one of those kingdoms or multiple kingdoms from attacking you. So if you disrupt war pact, that guy is going out and he's trying to prevent Almost everyone, all but one, uh, I mean, it, it, it's kind of a roll of the dice on which kingdom it ends up being, but this is uh, this can come in clutch when you're getting invaded by four kingdoms at one time. You can try to disrupt war pack, boom, and you only get attacked by one instead of four, which is, uh, which is quite handy. And, of course, this one's pretty easy to fill out. First parenthesis, D for disrupt. Second parenthesis, W for war packed. All right? Last, but certainly not least, is avoiding diplomatic influence. Now, diplomatic influence is, you know, we talked about negotiating peace earlier. Um, avoiding influence is how you prevent someone from getting a peace treaty on you. There are levels of avoidance, right? So it, everyone typically starts off at a, you know, you don't avoid the influence of them, another kingdom at all. You use one or two characters to avoid influence, and that might raise the bar from none to adequate, and you can avoid them at an adequate avoidance. So if someone tried to come and get a peace treaty on you, you know, there's, there's a little uh, resistance they kind of have to get through. Your goal, typically, is to raise that avoidance all the way to superior, because that is going to be the most difficult for a diplomat to get a peace treaty on you is uh, it, with superior avoidance, all right? Um, so avoid influence, another real simple one. First parenthesis gets an A for avoid. Second parenthesis gets an I for influence. Third parenthesis gets the kingdom abbreviation. All right, and that is the video for today. Short, sweet, to the point, how to fill out diplomacy orders for your characters, all right? Next video, not sure what it's going to be about. Uh, we're probably just going to go keep going right down the list. Not sure when I'll get it out to you, but, you know, feel free to sh leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. Hit up my socials. There's a link down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.